Hey guys, Drew here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to be a good mentee. Here we go. All right guys, like I said, I'm gonna to talk to you today about how you can be a good mentee. How you can be well prepared when you go into a meeting with a mentor. And so I'm out here, I'm about to walk into a meeting with one of my mentors here at the Colonial Country Club in Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, this guy is awesome. This is my fourth meeting with him. He is super successful. He's raised uh, millions of dollars of capital to start a television channel. He has uh, led multiple companies, businesses that he started as an entrepreneur. He's testified or, or, or given a, an appeal before Congress uh, to have laws passed so that his product would be mandated by companies um, uh, to be sold. So, I mean, just like genius status. And, uh, and he works a lot with entrepreneurs today. He's a coach. He's a consultant. He's a trainer. And uh, it's really a privilege that I get to meet with him. Now, this is my fourth time meeting with him. And uh, every time I've had questions, I've had... Um, uh, challenges that I, I I bring to him and I present. Now there are a couple things you want to remember when you go into a meeting with a mentor, and I'm just going to rattle them off here for you. But one thing you want to do, if it's your first meeting, make sure you have plenty of questions and you're prepared to answer uh, any any questions that they might have of you because they're going to want to get a, a a background on you and where you're coming from. Now when they begin to begin when your mentor he or she begins to give you some feedback, make sure that you affirm and you say yes. Okay, absolutely. Let me write that down. Don't say, "Yeah, I know that." That that'll shut down a mentor faster than anything else. Uh, what you want to, even if you've heard it before, you want to affirm them so that they will continue to flow. The good stuff is gonna come, and so you want to continue to affirm what they're saying and be receptive. Now, if you're taking notes, whether it's on your cell phone or on a digitally or or, or in a notepad, uh, make sure when you pull out your notepad or when you pull out your phone, you clearly state, hey, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to take some notes while you're talking to clearly state that you're not there texting, that, that you're giving them the priority. And please do not look at your phone over and over again while you're while you're meeting with a mentor. They are giving their time um, while you're there. Number two, um, if at all possible, buy the meal. So I'm not a member at the country club yet, but, uh, but my, my mentor is, so I can't pay for the meal he's got to pay for it so he's gonna he's gonna cover it today but when we've met outside of the country club I've always offered to cover the meal and paid for it myself so uh, so that's something you want to do uh, make sure when it's a subsequent meeting so you've already met once you're meeting a second time a third time like I am today bring results bring results to your mentor and say hey I just want to update you on some of the things that you taught me the last time we were together how I've put them into practice so that they know that you are a good return on their investment of time. Remember, many of the times when, when you're getting mentored by someone, they're doing it out of the goodness of their heart, they're doing it pro bono, they're doing it for free, and they could be making a lot of money doing this with somebody else. So make sure that you show them that you are a worthwhile investment. And, uh, and always, so this is number four, always come with good questions. So you wanna come with good questions and, and, and be prepared when you come to this meeting. So you wanna ask, so, what are you learning right now? What's what questions am I not asking? What blind spots do I have? Um, what would you do if you were in my situation? You know, you want to ask questions that provoke a a, a, a thought and, and a good response from your mentor. So I'm about to go in here, have this meeting. I'll uh, I'll tell you what happens uh, when I get out. Thanks a lot. See you in a minute. All right, I am back. Just got back. Had a great uh, mentoring meeting with one of my mentors. And it was fantastic. I got I got tons of good stuff, tons of wisdom and insights, encouragement with where I'm at, what I'm doing uh, from my mentor. And I went in there, and he felt validated because, like I said, going in, I told him what I had done with what he had shared with me, and uh, and he he confirmed what I already knew to be true. And he said, "Well, that's why we're here. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm making an investment." You see, uh, high level thinkers are making investments. Uh, of their time, of their energy, of their efforts, and they're looking for people that are going to give them a good return on their investment. And so it's not really giving away for free, it's investing in the future and in in something that they deeply care about. And so for the gentleman I'm meeting with, uh, his investment is in me as an entrepreneur and someone starting a business, someone making my way. 
and uh, and he's investing in me in that way, and that's something that's near and dear to his heart, and so he wants to pour energy and effort into that. Had a fantastic time. We talked about some potential business uh, uh, dealings that we could do together and work together in something, and uh, and it was awesome. So I'm telling you guys, when you go into a mentoring relationship, make sure that you have great questions to ask, that you are prepared for it, so that you you know. Um, uh, you have a good idea of, of maybe what they're going to ask you and you have responses for those thoughtful responses. Don't go into it just willy nilly, go into it with, uh, with an idea of what you want to say, what you want to communicate. Try to think what questions are they going to ask me? And, and you might not be prepared for all of them, but be prepared for, uh, as many as you can and, and have thoughtful responses that you can give them that are going to, uh, give, give a good return on their time. And then also give you the answers that you're looking for. And then the final question that, that, uh, my mentor asked me said, how can I help you? Now I'm doing something that's a little bit out of his, um, uh, his wheelhouse, so to speak. He's great with entrepreneur, uh, neural stuff, but not as much on the YouTube side of it. He, he's created a lot of content, has a lot of great content, delivered a lot of great content, but not through this avenue. So I said, let me think about that. And he said, yeah, you don't have to answer today, but be thinking about that. So what did that do right there? That just prompted an excuse or a reason for another meeting. And whenever you can do that, if you can ever do that, um, try to think of a reason why you will need to meet with that mentor again in the future, once again, so it's a good investment of their time, energy, and effort. All right, that's how to be a mentee. I hope that helped you. Please like, give a thumbs up, uh, or subscribe, and subscribe to my channel. And I wanna keep bringing you more content, real life content of someone in the field doing what you're doing. All right, you have a great day. Talk to you later, bye. Thank mm-hmm. you.